Yeah, I spent several years of my life, professional and personal. I have such a nice memories from Mozambique that I, I have a lot to say. It's difficult to put it in, in, in words. We contributed to the scale up, access to antiretroviral treatment, to the decentralization of HIV TB treatment across the country. Later on, we focus on advanced HIV disease and, and other things like drug resistant tuberculosis or, or, or viral hepatitis. So I think that all this includes several challenges. It's about the improvement, maintaining the quality of care at the centralized level, supply challenge, working in close collaboration with the authorities, breaking the stigma for, for HIV TB, explore new avenues, starting to working with key populations. That is related to mostly the, our main focus, who was HIV TB and viral hepatitis. But of course, as a MSF, we were always very reactive to the emergencies uh, through all this year, especially related to outbreaks, cholera outbreaks, missile outbreaks, uh, natural disasters like floods or the consequence of the cyclones. So that was a real challenge as well. I think that the history of, uh, of MSF in Mozambique, well, it's a life history. It's 40 years now. If you analyze or if you see in perspective all this, all this year, the, the organization has been playing a, a key role through the different years. At the very beginning, crucial engagement in the response to the consequence of the civil war, later on to the natural catastrophes. I guess that the history of Mozambique is the history of MSF with the HIV and TB, ensuring access to antiretroviral treatment, tuberculosis treatment, drug resistant tuberculosis treatment as well, access to viral load. And I think that during all this year, working in close collaboration with the Ministry of Health, the Ministry of Health developed their own capacity to respond to this uh, public health concern. And at the same time, other people joined the, joined the fight against HIV TB, like different donors, different organizations. So it was time for MSF to rethink the role in, in, in the country um, after uh, different discussion with different actors, engaging with the community in order to understand their own needs and, and trying to identify potential black spot concept of uh, people and population as partners has been in the mission, maybe not with that name, but has been in the mission for years. The finest example that, that, we, can, that we can find was our, one of the very last project that we, we developed in Maputo, who was the Mafalala project, focused on, on, on people who use drugs who have a huge need related to HIV, TB, and, and, and hepatitis C. Whole project, since the very beginning, so the conception of the project has been uh, including patients and including communities, because sometimes the community is beyond the patients, and sometimes the communities and the patient can have different understanding of things. So I think that the, that project is, is one of the finest examples that we can have uh, as an engagement with our patients and our communities patients interacting between them and between the community and between the MSF and the MOH workers. I am very happy to, to see that MSF is reaching 40 years of, of present, 40 year anniversary of MSF in Mozambique. Very proud of what MSF has been done, very proud about our collaboration with, the, with patients, communities, authorities, in the way that we, that we tackle. I am happy to be part of that history. I am happy that MSF keep going on that. And well, congratulations for this anniversary. <laughs>